Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and in this video we're going to be learning how to use the third person character controller in Godot 4.3 and we're going to use that add-on from the asset lib and it's free and you can use it for your work so if you want to do what people do in Unreal Engine where they're using uh, different characters for whatever they're doing it's already made so you can be able to actually get that from the asset lib if you type the third person controller Okay, or you just type third person, you can be able to get that there. So once you select that particular one, you download it into your file system. Now you're going to have some conflicts if you already have an add-on folder in your system and then you just change it and install it. So you can change the file location and then you install it. Now, once you install it, you're gonna have some issues if you're already if you're using Orchestrator and you have add-ons folder already there. When you open the add-ons folder, you actually see that you now have two add-on folders. Now, what you need to do is just to get that particular uh, third-person templates folder there and drag it into the previous one because you need to have just one add-ons folder in your file system. Now you also have uh, some other files that comes with it that you can be able to use and then you can delete the old add-on folder. So when you select the playground and readme, you can get just drag into the third person template and that's the folder for the third person controller add-on. Now if you go into the plugins, you can't turn it on because what you're going to be using is simply one of the folders there. You see that you cannot be able to turn it on so you can just close it because you don't really need that. So go to your root node and instantiate the child and the, and the child you're going to be instantiating will be the, okay, the player template. So once you, you put in the player template, you're going to have it in your 3D scene and that's the player that you already have here. So it's an already made, an already programmed scene with the camera and with the character and everything is already there. Just for you to fix up some things, you're not to be able to use this as a complete character controller. So once you come in here, you can open the the folder, the main file or the main scene, you can open the main scene and once you open the main scene, you can be able to actually see that you already have um, all the cameras and the animations already inside the player template scene. You can already see everything inside the player template scene. Now, if you click on the code, you can be able to see the entire code and you can play it and you see that the camera is already working with your mouse. So if I'm, I'm moving my mouse right now and it's showing me different parts of it, to go out, you hold Ctrl Alt Tab to be able to remove this because you can't see your mouse. Now, if you enter into the code, you see different controls you're going to be creating, different controls like sprint, jump, forward, backward, and you have to create that. Now, if you go into your project settings, you can go into your input map and you can create them. So what I have here, attack, sprint, forward, backwards, and other ones. So you can be able to actually create these particular controls for the input map and assign different keys to it so once you are done these are the six uh, controls you have coming with this so you have the attack sprint aim jump forward backwards left and right so once you put that you can start assigning different buttons so i have my attack i am assigning it to my left mouse button the right the uh, i'm going to put my my sprint to right mouse button uh, a for aiming space bar for jump and then for my forward, backwards, left and right, I'm going to be using the, the up, down and left and right arrow key. So once you play the scene right now, you can be able to control the character. And that's simply how you can be able to get this. So you can use this particular character in any of your games and it's actually a MIT license. So you can be able to actually start off if you want to create a particular game, maybe a fighting game or something. And you don't want to code it from the scratch. You can be able to use this add-on to be able to create a very simple a uh, character that is very realistic it can run it can jump it can uh, it can walk and it can also uh, fight so you have the, the kick and also the punch controls in it so and that's how you can be able to actually create distance so if you like my video and you like this content you, you can support me by liking the video sharing it and subscribing to my channel i'll see you in the next video